Hey, hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how do we fine tune OpenAI GPT-40 model. So first of all, what exactly the fine tuning? So fine tuning is the process of improving the model performance on a specific task or data set. In the case of OpenAI, we can provide our own examples that will improve the model performance. And basically what that performance means here is these are the reasons that we should fine tune the model. So first of all, we can get the higher quality results and prompting. Most of the time, it's not possible for us to you know, uh, get the better results with just prompting. And model requires more and more examples so that it adjusts with your business use case. If you fine tune the model, we can see the better quality results. Next example, uh, you know, uh, next reason I would say to fine tune is, most of the times to convey your business use case, you require many examples and those examples can't fit inside a prompt. And you don't have any other way. You need to have some way to expose those multiple examples to the model so that it can infer those instructions from it. And that is possible only via fine tuning. And since once you are able to fine tune the model, now you don't need to send those big prompts. Your prompt becomes smaller eventually reducing the cost and also reducing the latency because smaller prompts executes faster. So those are the reason for the fine tuning. But what are the different models available? Earlier, we only had 3.5 available, but now we also have a GPT-40 and GPT-40 mini. So we're, we're going to see in this video, fine tuning the GPT-40 mini. What are the typical use cases, you know, for, uh, you know, good for the fine tuning? So two use cases that I personally found useful. One is setting style, tone or format. Most of the time, when you generate some text, it could be writing an email or it could be generating the product description. You want it to be on a particular style or tone or a format. And just by prompting, sometimes it's not possible. We at a Future Smart AI, we have fine tuned a product description generation model for one of our clients. And we have found the improvement, especially it's in style and the tone in which it used to create that you know, uh, description. The second example uh, you know, use case that we have seen at a Future Smart AI is you know, getting the reliable outputs. So one of our client had an input, let's say document, and they wanted to have an output to be, a, uh, you know, a structured JSON as an output. And we were having difficulty to get that consistent JSON output. Most of the time we have to, you know, call OpenAI again as a fallback mechanism to get that desired output. But then we were able to find two a GPT-40 mini on their 100 plus documents. And then we were able to get the proper JSON output. So these are the two use cases we have seen at a future smart AI, you know, building for our clients. So definitely, if you're not happy with your prompting and you're not getting the good results, the fine tuning is something you should definitely try. So let's get into the fine tuning. Um, we are not going to cover any theory. We're just going to um, fine tune these on a particular data set. So this is the typical process when it comes to fine tuning. We need to prepare the data set. So whatever the examples we have, you know, um, you know, you might be having data in the CSV and we want to make sure we format those documents as per the, you know, your examples as per let's say OpenAI chat model format. Because chat GPT or GPT-40, those are the chat models and they have a specific format. So we need to format that data set. Once we format that data set, the next step is to upload that data set. So we have to upload the data set as a training data. It could be your training validation data and you will get some file ID once you upload it. And once you have your file IDs available with you, then you can start a fine tuning job. So when you make a request to the OpenAI, it doesn't start you know, instantly, rather they have some you know, mechanism, a queue mechanism where, you know, a lot of requests comes to them and then they, you know, kind of, uh, you know, queue all our requests. So for that purpose, we need to create a fine tuning job. And then once we submit that request that we want to fine tune this particular model on this data set, we need to keep monitoring it or you can, you know, monitor or check, you know, frequently to see whether the job has finished, either it will succeed or it will fail. If it succeeds, we get the fine tune model ID, then you can test and call that model, just like you will call the regular model. So that's the typical process. So let me show you first of all what data set I got. So here I got a data set. So basically I got some medical report you know, as an input and the expected output, we want to extract the structured output. Let's say the structured output is, uh, I want to extract the patient name, their age, what diagnosis uh, you know uh, mentioned in the report and basically what is the prescribed medication. These are the four things we are interested in from the report that is generating. And let's say we are we want this and this is kind of a use case as i told you this falls under getting the structured output this use case getting the reliable structured output that you might have some json here or some kind of a um, you know a structure that is model is failing to produce even though adding you know a couple of examples in the prompt now we're going to fine tune this thing we will not give any instruction about formatting we just want model should learn from the only examples and openai has mentioned we can have minimum 10 examples i have 20 examples to see how it works so this is our training data. 
a medical report and the extraction of those you know relevant fields what we want okay so let's go to the first step which is basically converting our csv training data what we just saw into the format that um, you know the open ai specifies so we know that these are the chat models basically they require data as a messages that's what they require and the typical format that we need to send is basically some kind of a conversation <coughs> sorry so here this is the simple system message extract details from the medical report you see i am here not mentioning what fields i am expecting what is their structure why i am not mentioning to just to show you that we want that structure of the expected output should be inferred from the example that is the reason i kept the uh, you know the system instruction simple now as a training example we need to send it as a messages where the first message was this a system message the second message is our medical report and the third message is basically an expected output so this is nothing but a conversation this is the instruction for our gpt this is our input and this is the expected output this is the one example so we create our training example by iterating through the csv file that what we got right so we read here our input csv then we create one output file in the you know writing mode and we iterate through each rows collect the first column the second column create the training example and write that training example as a json you see this format is called json this one json l or json new line or you know if you look at that format let me run so that we can see what exactly that format so training data is prepared we prepared two files one is this is going to be a training file which is the medical records and the same file we have with the 10 records as a validation file and we call it as a validation dot uh, validation dot that json l now let's look at how is that format here is this so as i told you one example so json l is basically this is one example this is one json on a separate line so this is one object here is the another object and each object here is one our example if you look at this is our uh, the list of messages we have our system instruction which is same across all the examples and then we have a this is a input and then assistant will be an expected output let me pause here somewhere yeah, here you could see these are the assistant basically the expected output what we want so pretty simple uh, you know training data that we require basically if you are familiar with the chat gpt we know we have to send messages you know as a list of messages to the open ai now we have prepared the data next thing we require an open ai key because we are fine tuning the open ai model so you can get your open ai so if you are inside your dashboard so let's say i am inside my dashboard this is one of the project called youtube if i see on the left side there are api keys i created this one of the keys that i am currently using I can simply create a new secret key. I can give some name and I can create the same way what I have created and which I'm already using here, which is this OpenAI key. So I initiate OpenAI client by giving that OpenAI key. Okay, what was the uh, step? Next step, since we got our data set prepared, we want to upload the file. So let's upload the file. To upload the file, we have one function which take our file path, right? And then simply use this is client means what open ai client so open ai client has an endpoint called client.files.create creating the file we specify our file which is basically we are opening you know this is a file what you call so we have open our file from the file path and uh, this is our file what i called anchor or pointer whatever and then basically you know uh, we indicate here and then the purpose of this file why we are uploading these files we are uploading this file for the purpose of fine tuning and we get the response back and that response will have our file id so let me run this function and then you will see uh, we are running this function for the two files training data and the validation data because we want both of them to be getting uh, you know uploaded there okay we got two file ids that we're gonna use next what step so we uploaded the file now we need to create the fine tuning job here we are so we have this function which create the fine tuning job it takes our training file id here validation file is optional if you don't have any validation data you don't need to send it it's just an optional thing and then we can specify the model this is a default model so i'm using gpt 4 mini this particular snapshot so you can specify any snapshot here similarly that create files we also have a client dot fine tuning job just create so we are creating a fine tuning job here by calling the open ai client specifying our training file id this is an id and not actual file similarly i got the validation file id and then finally the model that we want to use so let's run this particular function and I'm specifying this model GPT-40 mini and calling with our training and validation file. And we should get some job ID which is created there. Okay, so we got this job ID which is created. Next what? 
once we got the job id we need to monitor that job progress so let's do that thing so we have one function which takes our job id and it can retrieve that job and check its status using the job dot status we are saying if the job dot status is either succeeded or the fail just return the job which is completed if not then you know we can retrieve some events about our fine tuning job id so that we know exactly what's happening there we print those events and then we wait for 30 seconds and retry again so it's going to take some time maybe i just start we look at the couple of statement and then i pause the video and then we i will come back when the training finishes so this is the uh, you know function let's run that function okay so first thing you can see that at the moment status is running and the event is fine tuning job started those files has been validated our job moved to the queue state okay and so these are the events at the moment again uh, you know similar events so let me pause video maybe it might take couple of minutes and once it finishes you know um, i resume the video okay so our job has finished it has taken 5 minutes and we could see the logs here what has happened so fine tuning job started then basically we could see the status is running then you know it was going to a different steps we could see the validation loss here and then eventually it finish and we got the result we got this fine tuning model let me tell you you can also specify certain um, you know hyper parameters when you submit the job you can submit the epoch uh, you know i think that there are two three parameters are there which i didn't cover because uh, mostly i found the default one is uh, working anyway it was mentioned somewhere so i'm just searching where it exactly the mention yeah we could specify specify the number of epochs by default i guess it's a 3 or something learning rate and the batch size but i found you know default works pretty good um, i don't spend my time here usually okay so let's take that fine tune model id we got you could see it is gpt40 mini this is the model name and this is maybe something which came from our account which is future smart ai and some unique identifier or something so let's copy this one we don't need to copy actually maybe i'm using that variable yeah here fine tune model id next test that model testing or calling that model is nothing but calling the any other open ai model where we are using the chat completion endpoint we want model id this model id is nothing but this fine tune model id that we are passing here and it takes the same thing like those messages so you can see um, you know so let we don't need to mention here actually here also we don't need to mention let's see what happens we keep the instruction same given a medical report extract the following details not even following data let's see what is what was our statement let me check our data what was our statement uh, no 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 it should be while preparing our data extract details from let's keep the same this one which we have used during the fine tuning and if i go here so i got this system instruction then this is the input which is we going to pass so this is some medical report we got and uh, let's run this thing so we got some result right and we could see it is some kind of a json structure output so let's look at the content field of it okay we could see this is some string json string with the same kind of format that we were expecting even though we didn't specify any instruction that how we want to extract those fields we got those you know fields based on the examples that we have provided and uh, you know this will be a string so we can even get the python dictionary out of it by parsing that json and then we got this particular thing right so this is the beauty of fine tuning that model can infer those instruction let's also check whether this is uh, you know even necessary uh, let's say we don't pass any instruction we just pass an example because uh, we have given let's see what happens okay we can still get the uh, you know so this is what i mean now you see our prompt becomes smaller because there is no instruction Uh, because the model has already uh, understand the nature of our right this is also improves your let's say this is going to save your cost this is going to uh, you know uh, you get the faster response right and uh, since if you have enough examples then you can also get the better quality results compared to the prompt what you have right so this is how you fine tune the model you know um, let's say open ai gpt4 model and you could use it just like a normal model right one thing you know uh, 
OpenAI also supports the uh, vision model, like the model with the images. So let me know if you are interested in that video, then I can create a video on how to fine tune the OpenAI models with, let's say, images and text, basically a vision models. If you are interested, let me know in, you know, in the comments. Thank you.